Joyride. For those of you who don't know, Joyride is basically the Skrillex of deep b bass funk tech house? Honestly, I'm not even sure what genre he produces. Like at this point, you might as well just call it Joyride House. Point is, if you're making a Joyride style song and your goal isn't to be unique, then you're probably doing it wrong. Many of his songs consist of a simple four on the floor beat, but using as many random yet fitting sounds as possible to make a unique groove with different basses, vocal chops, and percussion samples. Oh yeah, and gunshot sounds, cause why not? And speaking of which, this guy's name is John Ford. You know, like Ford Motor Company? I'm starting to think that this guy might be a little bit American. I mean, I get that he was born in England, but let's be real, John. All jokes aside though, I just wanted to let you guys know that there's been a glitch on YouTube recently where people are getting automatically unsubscribed, so if you think you are, just take a second to double check and make sure. And if you want to help support the channel as well, I have a bunch of sample packs available on my website in the link in the description, including a bunch of royalty-free acapellas and vocal chops that I know a lot of you guys have been requesting. And if you use the code YouTube at checkout, you'll get 25% off, so it's honestly a win-win for both of us and it really helps me keep making content for you guys. So without further ado, let's get into it. First start by setting the project to 126 BPM. <clears throat> Whoosh. Next add a one shot for my new sample pack. No shameless plugs here. I also added this jazz ride. Take a funky little vocal sample and try playing with the format shift settings as well as adding a little bit of hard clip distortion. Is it even a joyride track without sirens? I don't even know what this is, but just a fair warning, you're probably going to end up using a lot of sounds that you just can't explain. Add a riser. Another one shot. Slowly fade in the claps and hat loops from the drop with a high pass and low pass filter. You could also use a band pass and increase the band size. I made this soundscape out of Rick Astley saying never gonna give you up and included it in my sample pack, so you're welcome for the Rickroll everybody. Layer some stomps and snares for the build up and make sure to incorporate triplets. Again with the random stuff. Hey there. Oh yeah, and also add this brass melody. Make sure to use half steps. And finally, add this gunshot sample like the one from his track, I'm Gone. I'll show you how to make this later in the video. With all this together, let's hear how the finished buildup sounds like so far. Start the drop, I added a punchy deep kick playing a four on the floor rhythm, a clap for my pack, and a softer pre shift clap. Together. Next, I made a hi hat loop with some triplets for flow. Add some rides that pan to the left and right and slightly pitch. Also, add a backing loop to your custom hi hat loop and cut it to follow the same rhythm. Add some offbeat perks. Also, add ambient one shots. Make sure to use a woo sound effect. My girlfriend wanted to be in the video, so she recorded this and asked me to put it in. So I pitched it down and put some reverb on it just for fun. Add a big crash. You guessed it, more sirens. Here's what the drums and effects sound like together. Make a small chord one shot for the beginning of every four bars. I layered it with the soundscape, as well as the same one shot from earlier, and a cashmere style growl. Here's what that sounds like together. For the deep boy, I added some volume automation as well as some heavy sidechain playing a half step melody. For the main bass, I took a heavily overdriven sine wave that I made with Omicide. I then layered it with an 808 patch from Serum that I added some more distortion to. Together. For the B part bass, I made something that honestly sounds like that Windows error message. The first layer is a simple massive patch. And the second is a simple perk. Remember, simplicity is key. 
Also add some random serum basses for variation to the rhythm. I also recreated the bass from a song Focus and tried to sprinkle that into the drop as well. Basically for all the basses what you're going to want to do is just watch dubstep rhythm tutorials and try making them sound a little bit more deep house. For the next step, I couldn't even exaggerate this if I tried. Add literally the most random samples from the deepest, darkest depths of your hard drive you can find and try to make them work. You'll be surprised how interesting it'll end up sounding. And here's just a handful of them that I used in this track. Also, for the gunshot sample, I took a bunch of gunshot sound effects from video games, layered them with a bunch of compression and EQ, and tried to create the rhythm that he uses in the song, I'm Gone. Here's what that sounds like. All together now. So with everything together, let's hear this banger smash hit. And make sure to like and subscribe since we're almost at 50k and it'd mean a lot to me. Hey there. If you made it this far in the video, I just wanted to say thanks for watching. You may have heard at the beginning of the video that there's this glitch going around on YouTube where it's unsubscribing people automatically. So if you could just double check and make sure it really helped me out. And if you're new here, please consider becoming a first time subscriber as well. Uh, thanks for all the support guys. Love you.